Todd from EverythingAttachments.com, and we're here today on at my house. Uh, we had about five or six inches of rain in less than an hour last week. Half the gravel from that uh, road up there that's a gravel road is washed out into our asphalt road here, and uh, we're going to collect it with this collector broom. Uh, it can also be called a bucket broom. It's basically a sweepster in front of a skid steer bucket to where it collects all the debris instead of just sweeping it to one side of the road. This is some pretty good gravel here, uh, and so uh, I'm just going to put it on my property after we get it collected, and that way we won't be driving over it all week. Engage the broom with our auxiliary hydraulics, and then we're just going to go slow forward with the cutting edge down near the ground, and this should be collecting all of the gravel and debris left on the road. I'm going to give it just a little more RPM. kind of skid steer. Uh, you don't necessarily need a small one like this to be using. also make a water kit to go on the top of this so you can uh, spray a small stream of water out to keep the dust completely down. Water kit would be nice in this case where it's got so much dust. bucket back at an angle like that, you're able to get all the dirt to the back, so you won't have to keep emptying it to get up just the last little bit. Take a lot up, just a little bit. See what I've got here. Uh, we've collected our gravel out of the road over there. We're just going to dump it up here in my side lot uh, to cover up where I'm missing a little bit of gravel. You can always turn the broom on in the opposite direction to make sure your bucket's clean. Alright, now we're going to go back and make another pass over in my driveway and finish up uh, what we've got left since the bucket was full. Now that we've emptied some of the gravel that we've collected up in the road, we're going to finish getting the gravel here out of our driveway.
some of the gravel on the second cut through I made for to put in our uh, underground stormwater drainage because I'm going to pour these cracks full of concrete in the next few days. doing it the manual way. So that looks like we've got it swept up here pretty good and we'll just trench that out a little more later. We're gonna pour concrete in the holes. some of the features of the Sweepster hopper broom. It's got the standard Sweepster nylon, 50% mix nylon and wire uh, sweeper underneath it. It's hydraulically driven with a hydraulic motor here. It has a similar to a standard skid steer bucket attached to the back of it, hinged right here, and then with a re replaceable, and that's important, a replaceable cutting edge there. So if you're keeping your edge down to make sure you're getting all your debris, mud, and things up off the pavement, you can replace this. You can adjust your brushes of how much sweeping you're doing and as they wear right here you will be lowering your sweeper head down to get all the debris up as it wears or if you've got something really tough to get up. Standard couplers, no, no special flow, it's a standard flow machine. Has your standard skid steer quick attach on the back, reinforced here good. Uh, this is the best hopper broom I know of. Simply you're going to uh, dump it like you would a bucket when you get ready. You can reverse the uh, rotation of the brushes to help dump all the stuff out of it. Works great when you want to collect your debris instead of just pushing it to the side of the road. My neighbor wouldn't have been really happy if I just pushed all that gravel over in his grass uh, for him to mow. So we got it up for him where he wouldn't have to mow it.